All right, so this is the Kiwi browser, and I'm sure you can tell from the title that um, this browser supports extensions, and I'm going to show you that. But I'm also going to be showing you other features that you can get with this browser, so you can know if it is worth switching to or if it is worth your time. All right, so I'm going to open the browser. I'll leave a link to it in the description, or you can just head over to the Play Store and search for Kiwi browser and then install it. Okay, so I have done some changes to the browser. This is not what it should look like when you install it for the first time. That's because I've been using it for almost a month now. So I'm going to start by talking about the unique stuff that's come with the browser. And the first thing is going to be the extensions. So I have my toolbar down here. Normally it should be up here, but mine is down here, which is something I also like about the browser. But uh, yeah, if you tap here, you can see extensions. You can see that I have two extensions installed. I don't use a lot of extensions. I only need my password manager, which is Bitwarning, and then touch VPN. Those are the only extensions I use on all my browsers. I don't do a lot of extensions because normally I'm always on YouTube. I don't browse the internet that much anymore. Okay, so if you wish to add an extension, you can just tap here. And this is basically what the Chrome extension store looks like. If you use the Chrome browser or any Chromium browser, then you should be familiar with this, this website. And from here, you can install any extension you want. For now, I'm just going to work with this one. Okay, let me just zoom in a bit. You can see over here it says add to Chrome. If you tap here, it's going to install the extension to your device. I'm not going to do that because I don't even use this extension. So yeah, what I've heard is that um, not all extensions work with this browser. So yours may not work, but the two that I've tried, they work. And uh, just to prove that, I'm going to tap here. And then I'm going to scroll down. If you scroll down, you'll see the extensions you have. So this is the VPN extension. If I tap on it, it's going to open in a new tab. I can now decide if I want to activate the VPN. You can also choose like the state you want, the country, not state. So normally I just go for best choice and then I'll tap connect. So this VPN is only going to affect the browser. It's not going to affect your whole device. So on the browser, it's going to show that you are from another country, depending on the country that the VPN takes you to. So you can see it has been connected. And now if I browse any website using this browser, it's going to think I'm from another country. I'm not really sure how to know the country. Normally I just connect and forget about it, but it should be written somewhere. I can't find it right now. So let me just search for what is my IP address. What is my IP address? Well, it says I'm from Germany and the only thing I can say is nine. Now I'm going to turn this off, I'll stop it. And I'm going to do the same search to see if the result is going to be different. What is my IP address? Yeah, now it is correct. So yeah, this is only going to affect the browser. It's not going to affect the rest of your phone. So if there are certain websites that are having issues, you need to use a VPN to access, then you can use this browser to do that. All right, so besides the fact that you can use extensions, like I said, I don't know if all extensions will work with this browser, but the two that I've tried have worked. So you can go ahead and install your favorite ones and see if they work with this browser. All right, so the next um, feature that I like about this browser is that um, you have this icon over here. It's called the reachability icon. Now you may not have this one. I had to apply it here. Or I had to select the option for this. But uh, what this does essentially is that um, as we get lazy these days, sometimes reaching the top of the phone is too hard when you're browsing or just scrolling with one hand. So they made this option here that you can just tap and it's going to bring down the page so that you can tap. Maybe you want to tap this or the search bar. Well, you don't have to stretch your thumb to the top. You can just tap here and it's going to come down. And that is why I brought the, the toolbar down here because I am also lazy. Technology has made me lazy as well. So reaching up here to tap the address bar is not something I enjoy doing. So I had to bring it down here. And after you're done, then you can tap here and the page is going to go back up. So yeah, that's one feature that I like. I don't see this on most browsers. In fact, this is the first browser that I'm seeing this on. But the thing is that my phone also has this feature. So if I just tap the home button and slide to the back button, you see it brings the, the whole phone down, like the screen down. 
and uh, the only problem with this is that to go back I have to tap in this empty space so if I tap here that is how it works so yeah the phone does that the, for this it only affects the browser but the one I just showed you is going to affect the whole phone so if I go home and I do the same it's going to bring down my home screen all right so another feature that I like about this browser is that uh, you can use an external download manager so for me I use IDM plus or 1DM plus so if you go to downloads and then you tap here you can see it says external download manager so if you tap here you're going to see a list of the download managers you may have so just select the one you want and that will be all whenever you want to download anything it's going to just open the download manager instead of the browser downloading it itself i think right now i know about two browsers that do this this one and another browser called vivaldi i should be making an overview for that browser as well maybe in the future all right so the next set of things that i want to talk about are not just unique to this browser you can find them on most browsers anyways not all browsers so the first one is the night mode so Normally I like it when my screen is dark, but if you head over to settings and then you can see night mode over here. So it is set to default. I have tried the um, black background, but to me it's a bit too sharp. So I like the default one. All right, so right now you can see that I have six tabs opened. If I tap here, you're only going to see one, but if you want to see the rest, you just have to slide. And you can see that I'm using a mouse, so let me just use my, my finger. Okay, so those are all the tabs and um, you can change how the tabs look so if you go over to settings the tab tab switcher then there are different ones you can choose from the one that i'm using is called horizontal there's this one called vertical so let's just see what it looks like okay you have to restart so i'm only going to use this one for the example because i don't want to keep restarting the, the browser so let's just see what it looks like the good thing is that all your tabs are still going to be intact after restarting so this is what the vertical one looks like you have to slide down for you to see all the tabs you have opened okay so this is what it looks like you can see all the tabs that i have opened and uh, yeah you can choose from anyone you want let me just try one more okay so i just restarted and uh, you can see this is what the option that i selected looks like so you can choose the one you want and just stick with it. All right, so another thing I want to talk about that you can find in other browsers is the ability to bring the toolbar down here. Like I said, if you install the app for the first time, you're going to have this bar up here. I also explained that because it is sometimes hard to reach, I had to bring it down here. So to do that, you just need to head over to settings, then toolbar, you can see it down here, bottom toolbar. So as long as this is activated, then you're going to have the toolbar down here and another thing that i like is that you can slide the toolbar to switch between tabs you don't always have to tap on this tab button here in order to see the tabs that you have opened so this is a good way to quickly switch between the tabs you are working with all right so there are lots of other features that you get with this browser but those are the ones that i enjoy using and that's why i want to like talk about them in this video now there are two things that i do not like about this browser and um, the first one is that um, there is no way to synchronize i haven't found any option that will help me synchronize like for me to be able to use the browser on multiple devices and have like my history my bookmarks my password whatever it is that i save on the browser as long as i'm not using this phone i will not be able to access all that stuff on another phone so that is something i do not like about this browser unless it is there but i haven't found it i don't think there's a way to synchronize with this browser and another thing that i wouldn't say i don't like but maybe it doesn't work all the time is this option called um let me just head over to privacy and security uh where is it all right so this option called remove amp i don't really know the easiest way to explain how amp works what I'll say is that uh, it is like a website that is hosted by Google. So it may be anybody's website, but Google is going to keep a copy of that website so that whenever you're browsing or you're searching through Google, maybe the website that you're supposed to access is slow. Google is going to give you their own copy of the website. So let me just show you what it means. But uh, essentially, you can see that I do not like that option. Like, I don't like seeing the Google version of the website. I want to see the real website. So that is why I deactivated it. So with this option checked, 
Normally, you're not supposed to see AMP websites, but I was doing some search this morning, and uh, this was what I was searching for. And on clicking here, you can see that uh, this is not the main website. This is still the Google website. You can see down here, it is google.com slash AMP. And you can also tap here. And if I wanted to access the main website, then I'll have to click on this link. But with that option that I showed you selected, it is supposed to just take me straight to the website, like the main website, not the Google website. But it doesn't work. Maybe it doesn't always work. So yeah, I will not say that I hate the feature, but I will say that um, it is not very stable for now. Hopefully they will fix that in the future. As for that reachability option, you just need to tap here and then you can just select this and you're going to have that reachability option which is this one so if i wanted to tap here instead of extending my thumb up here i can just tap here and i don't have to go all the way over here anymore i can just bring it up here to tap this anyways you get the idea thank you for watching ask me any questions you may have subscribe to the channel and let me know what other apps you want me to check out in the comments i'll be seeing you in the next video take care and bye bye